Hello YouTubers! I am glad you are here watching this video and if you are ready to use your critical mind, you are in the right place. This video is titled, It is called moving your bowels for a reason. Cryptic pregnancy movement explained. If you are here with questions, I have got some great ideas and options, so let's explore. Under normal conditions, the loops of the small and large intestines are free to move around within the abdominal cavity, sliding over each other and their surrounding organs over a thin film of lubricating fluid. In this video that I just showed you, that was peristalsis. That is how the muscle, I mean, I'm sorry, how the intestines contract in order to move feces through the bowels and through the colon. So now let's take a look at some real baby movement. As you can see in this video, you can see pokes that come out quite a bit of dif a, quite a bit of difference from the actual abdominal wall. A lot of these these movements will poke up at least two inches from the abdominal wall. And so you can tell that it is something separate from the mother that is creating the movement. And this next video, you can see it quite, it is quite obvious. The appendages, what looks like could be arms or legs that are moving around. And you can see that, I mean, that is definitely a baby. <laughs> I'm sorry, my son just hit the camera. <laughs> so then let's take a look at some intestinal movement. Now this is just your intestines moving. These, these people are not pregnant. And this is just the intestinal movement from them digest, digesting their food. You can see, see Ashley Bluth here in titles this video, Intestines Moving. Now we're going to look at another one that is entitled Paradoxal Abdominal Movement. And this is just from the abdomen. This person is not pregnant. This is just the intestines and or organs moving around and causing what it looks like. It looks like the intestines are contracting irregularly and that's what's causing this movement and then there's this one and it's pretty obvious that this is this is her intestines moving around however this can be misinterpreted for fetal movement and this is why I bring these videos to light here so that you can look at what the intestines moving looks like. Versus what a baby moving around looks like. Now this woman's obviously probably into her seventh month of pregnancy, seventh or eighth month. So she's pretty far along. The baby is pretty big. However, you are able to feel movement around 18 to 22 weeks pregnant. And it looks quite different than that of intestinal movement. So let's go ahead and listen to peristalsis. Peristalsis is a series of wave-like muscle contractions that move food through the digestive tract. It starts in the esophagus, where strong wave-like motions of the smooth muscle move balls of swallowed food to the stomach. There, the food is churned into a liquid mixture called chyme that moves into the small intestine where peristalsis continues. Stretching out a piece of intestine will make it easier to see the wave-like motion. The motion mixes and shifts the chyme back and forth. This lets the bloodstream absorb nutrients through the walls of the small intestine. In the large intestine, peristalsis helps water from undigested food be absorbed into the bloodstream. Then, 
the remaining waste products are excreted through the rectum and anus. All right, so now that we've heard that overview, depending on your stomach muscles, diastasis recti or abdominal muscle separation can also make it much easier to see your intestines digesting, moving, and passing gas and liquid and can be confused with baby movement seen from the outside. Also, adhesions cause organs and tissues to stick together. This often happens in the intestinal tract. Formation of scar tissue between bowel loops, small or large intestines, and the inner lining of the abdominal wall or the peritoneal lining with, or with the other organs within the abdominal cavity. This occurrence is important to note that women who have had a C-section, hysterectomy, or lower abdominal surgery are at higher risk. These adhesions can create more movement sensations that can be misinterpreted as fetal movement. Adhesions can also cause, be the cause of constipation and then ultimately a fecal obstruction. IBS is a very common digestive disorder which can be mistaken for fetal movement and can also be seen on the outside. I will include a breakdown of IBS in the description of this video and it will link to a video that explains it further. I also have made a video, a couple of videos that talk about IBS and I will link those in the description of the video as well. Intestinal gas or air in the stomach can be mistaken for fetal movement. The most common causes are Swallowing air, drinking carbonated beverages. Gas is a natural occurrence and should not be shameful. It happens to everyone. I have watched both mine and my husband's bowels stretch and move all the way across our abdomens horizontally. It is quite the sight to see. Intestinal bloating is air in the lower part of the digestive tract, and it is most common caused. The most common cause is constipation but there are a few others to point out as well, like lactose intolerance, food intolerance, celiac disease, diverticulitis, and IBS. Google, do your intestines move? And you will get forum after forum of people talking about it, feeling exactly like a baby moving inside them. None of these people believe they could be pregnant, so they realize it is their colon and intestines moving and digesting, pushing and pulling to move feces, air, and water. And I will link some articles that do further explain movement in the abdom abdominal region that have nothing to do with pregnancy. So let's quickly cover the basics. The primary functions of the large intestine colon are to store food residues and to absorb water. Between what we drink and what we secrete into the stomach and intestine to help with food absorption, about five gallons of fluid is dumped into the large intestine every day. Most of this fluid has to be reabsorbed to be prevented, to prevent us from becoming quickly dehydrated. This process takes time. About 90% or 95% of the contractions of the colon are unsynchronized, non-peristalsic. So they happen randomly and systematically just like baby movement. It is these contractions in the bowel that can be mistaken for fetal movement, as well as intestinal gas, food liquid moving through the intestines or a combination of the two of these you have roughly 30 feet of intestines in the average adult. This means your food takes a long journey depending on the diet you consume. The more meat, sugar, and processed foods and dairy you eat, the longer the food stays in your digestive tract. Slowing down digestion, digestion and possibly irritating the bowels causing constipation and eventually an impacted colon. Normally people have bowel movements at fairly regular intervals and stool passes out of the body easily without much straining or discomfort. In constipation, bowel movements occur less often and the stool is often hard, dry, and difficult to pass. Most of the time, constipation is not related to an illness or digestive disorder. Instead, the problem is caused by diet, 
lifestyle, medications, or some other factor that hardens the stool or interferes with the stool's ability to pass comfortably. Some common triggers of constipation in adults include a diet low in fiber, inadequate fluid intake, having a sedentary job, or rarely exercising puts you at high risk of constipation, ignoring the urge to have a bowel movement, laxative overuse, medication side effect, and pain or discomfort around the anus. Constipation can also be called an abnormal positioning of pelvic organs. For example, sagging of the uterus called uterine prolapse or abnormal contraction of muscles in the pelvis. Occasionally, long-term constipation develops into fecal impaction, which is a blocked colon from a massive stool that can't be moved by colon contractions. Fecal impaction can cause pain and vomiting, and a person with fecal impaction may require emergency treatment or hospitalization. Constipation and impaction in impacted colon can sometimes call, cause a hard mass in the abdomen that can be palpated and moved. Symptoms of constipation include fewer than three bowel movements per week, small, hard, dry stools that are difficult or painful to pass, the need to strain excessively to have a bowel movement, a feeling that your rectum is not empty after a bowel movement, or frequent use of enemas, laxatives, or suppositories. Symptoms of fecal impaction include liquid stool. The stool is leaking around the impacted mass of feces and can be mistaken for diarrhea. Abdominal pain, especially after meals, stomach pain, a persistent urge to move the bowels, nausea and vomiting, headache, poor appetite, weight loss, extreme bloating, distended stomach, problems emptying the bladder, painful urination, pain for painful intercourse, frequent UTIs, breathing problems, vomiting fecal matter, or malaise, a general sick feel- feeling. I put here, these are, this is the Bristol stool chart. This is something that nurses use in order to tell whether or not a patient is experiencing constipation or if they are experiencing diarrhea. And that's how we tell. And this is something I use on a day-to-day basis to tell whether or not I'm healthy because your stool tells a lot about your health. So if an impacted colon is not treated, dehydration, rapid pulse, rapid breathing, fever, agitation, confusion, and urinary incontinence can occur. If it continues to be untreated, it can lead to death. So this is a fecal picture of a fecal impaction. Does not look like that would be fun. And it causes quite a bit of symptoms. This is what a large piece of stool stuck in the rectum would look like. And this is an x-ray of the large intestine or colon, just full of feces. It's very easy to get a picture of this. And then this would be a normal, your normal colon. And this is the fecal mass that is plugging it up. And this happens to both men and women. So even men can look pregnant when they have a fecal obstruction. Okay, so I have a YouTube video here, bowel obstruction, and they decided to record this because they thought it was really interesting that you could see it moving here. And I mean, you have to really look at this video and I will link it in the description, but if you really pay attention, you can see it moving. And this is actual feces just stuck in the intestines. And it, it the feces is moving itself, like the actual feces is moving. So that can be misinterpreted as fetal movement if you don't know that you have a bowel obstruction. And like I said, I will link this in the video. So I just wanted to address that stress has a direct link to digestive health. And so does good bacteria within your digestive system. If you're experiencing constipation or even a fecal impaction, your bowels trying to move or pass the blockage, pass air or pass liquid, past the actual, the massive stool, 
those that that those contractions can be mistaken as fetal movement or baby kicks when it is actually your bowels trying to digest and eliminate waste so i just wanted to cover this website really quick how to look and feel pregnant when you're not and i will link this in the description of this video intestinal parasites can also account for movement sensation twitches pokes bubbles and flutter sensations in the lower abdominal region this is a serious condition and should be diagnosed monitored and treated by a healthcare provider as soon as possible and i will be doing a more in-depth video about this next so look out for that one i also want to briefly bring awareness to the enema and air pumping trend these people either pump water or another liquid or they fill their intestines with air to make their belly look round, full, and pregnant. And both men and women do it. And I will link these videos in the description so you can take a look at them for yourself. But this one is, I mean, this one's pretty intense because she goes from this to this to this to this to the, I mean... And this is her filling herself up with air so that she looks pregnant. It's titled, How to Make Yourself Look Pregnant, Turning Your Real Own Belly into an Air Balloon. So she has literally pumped air into her anus, filling up her intestines and colon with air so that she looks pregnant. So that's all I have for this video today. I hope this helps someone. Next, I will be thoroughly investigating intestinal worms and then map out the details of candida or yeast overgrowth. And don't forget to check out my Doppler experiment video. So be well and thank you for watching. Bye.